Congressman Kucinich, if you were President of the United States and the intelligence community said to you, we know where Osama bin Laden is, he's in Pakistan, we've got the specific target, but he's only going to be there for 20 minutes, you got to give the order, yes or no, to take him out with a Hellfire missile, but it's going to, call, it's going to kill some innocent civilians at the same time. What would be your decision? I don't think that a president of the United States who believes in peace and wants to create peace in the world is going to be uh, using assassination as a tool because when you do that, it comes back at your country. And I think that Osama bin Laden, if he's still alive, ought to be held to account in an international court of law. And so should any other person who's been involved in a violation of international law, which has, been resu which has resulted in the deaths of uh, many people. We are in an interesting condition in this country where we are told to uh, take impeachment off the table and keep on the table a U.S. military attack against Iran. This really calls for a new thinking. It calls for us to reconsider very deeply the moment that we're in, where our Constitution is being trashed, where international law is being violated, And I think that Osama bin Laden, if he's still alive, ought to be held to account in an international court of law. And so should any other person who's been involved in a violation of international law, which has, been resu which has resulted in the deaths of uh, many people. I want to be quite specific about this. I, it, it's my intention as chairman of the Domestic Policy Subcommittee to, to focus in on, on two areas that, that I, at least, you know, there are a number of areas, there are probably dozens of areas that haven't been appropriately probed. But I know of two that I'm looking at. I, I'm not at liberty to discuss exactly what they are, but our committee will hold hearings on two discrete areas that have major implications with respect to the story that Americans have been told about 9-11. There will be some steps taken. Yeah, and wide in the discussion. And yeah, I mean, you've you got to start somewhere. And so because I can, I will.